Hey guys, it's Marty and today we're going to take a look at these American Journey watercolor paints. These are, I bought like four sample sets and I'm kind of excited to take a look at these paints uh, for a couple of different reasons. One is they're marketed through Cheap Joe's uh, art supply store here in the United States and if you go to their website you'll find that uh, they, they come in different tube sizes and stuff like that but one of the things that interests me about these is uh, a lot of folks have speculated they're made by the da Vinci Company. I think the Da Vinci Company is based, they make watercolor paints and stuff too. They're based in uh, Laguna, California, and these paints say they are made in the USA. Uh, like I said, these sample sizes are really cool, and you can get entire paintings out of just the sample size cartons, and, and they're cheap. So, like you can see here, they, they put quite a bit of paint in the little... Um, pans in, this, in these cartons and I also ordered just a, a little brush from there and I'll use this Canson watercolor paper here but here's a, a few stats on them. Like I said they're made in the U.S. They come in the 15 and 37 milliliter tube sizes so bigger than say normal companies which sell like 5 milliliter tubes so I think that's pretty cool and there's 112 colors in the entire line. So that's a lot of colors to choose from, including some really, really nice quinacridones, which we're going to take a look at today. Again, these are sample size uh, sizes, so these range from three to six bucks. So the more color, the more money. So like this one has like, I think, 12 colors in it. So that was like uh, five or six bucks. So this first set here is the essentials set. So this is... Um, you know, it says Joe picks these paints and these are the essential sets. So uh, I wanted to try these out first. So you can pick this up for like six bucks, as I said, and you can do an entire sketch or painting with there's enough color in here definitely to, to, to pull that off. So um, right away, the colors are really vibrant. And they one thing I notice is when the water touches these paints, they really dissolve quickly. Very, very nice. Um, what you'd call dissolvability and dispersion and there's no granularity or graininess in these paints either which usually denotes a pretty fine ground pigment and then just the way the color pops again good color good good pigments uh, nice paint so um, just going through the process of laying these down in these swatches is telling me that you know just from the, the feel the color that they're probably pretty well made and they very well could be made by da vinci i i don't know it's that that's not real obvious but a bunch of people online have said uh, that's where they suspect they're made and i suppose if i wrote to da vinci or cheap joe's i could eventually find out i may do that still now they um cheap joe's has some labeling on these and it says here that basically they're made with the highest quality uh, professional artist pigments. They're completely dispersible in water. They're light fast. They're ASTM rated. Um, and they're available in, like I said, the 15 and 37 milliliter tubes. Um, so there's also a little warning label on the back for uh, chromium and cobalt as a known uh, carcinogen to humans. So, you know, uh, again, that's a good warning. And then the old Made in the USA label is on the back as well. So as long as you're careful with any types of paints, especially the cobalts, the chromiums, uh, the cadmium uh, paints, then you should be okay. I wouldn't drink them. I wouldn't let them set on my hands too long, things like that. But if you are generally careful with the paints and you're not aerosolizing the paints, you should be okay. Uh, so the next set I wanted to try was the sample set that's called the Top 10 set. So these are uh, supposedly Cheap Joe's top 10 uh, colors that uh, that he selected for the for this sample set. So um, yeah, I'm just looking at some of the colors right now in the set here. And if you let these dry in the in the little uh, cartons they come in, they activate really, they reactivate really quickly. So what cool sets, right? These little sets you could take with you on some 
uh, short adventure or car trip somewhere to, you know, some local location that you maybe has something interesting to sketch or interesting people. But, you know, for me, sometimes I can just find beauty outside my front door or in my backyard or sitting on the porch. I don't really have to venture too far sometimes to find, you know, just kind of something beautiful to sketch or paint. You know, I think like as an artist, maybe it's the fact, and I'd be interested to hear what you think about this, but maybe it's the fact that, you know, you practice close observation in life and you see things and you look for beauty. Uh, Maybe that's just part of having an artist's eye or whatever, but I tend to see beauty a lot. I mean, not only in people and faces and uh, but but in the trees and the nature that surrounds me and maybe this sounds weird or whatever but like people that are different Uh, so like when I'm out in public sketching people like I'll I'll see people and and someone might consider that person unattractive or not beautiful maybe they have a weathered face or they're look a little rough around the edges or whatever but I, I find those are the most interesting people to draw and sketch. And I I love the fact that, you know, I guess in some ways, you know, we're blessed with the ability to see beyond, um, you know, what's considered, I guess, the, the surface of things. You know, close observations help you, help you see beyond that, help you look for beauty in things or just interest and in, something compelling. So I don't know, maybe that was a weird philosophical tangent, but I just think for me, uh, I like looking at things and seeing the beauty in them. I think that's, I could, it, it, it helps me. I mean, in terms of just lifting, (laughs) lifting my spirit or whatever, and you know, world's, world's full of all kinds of bad stuff. And it's just, uh, sometimes helps your soul if you can, uh, see that there is a lot of beautiful things uh, in the world around us if only we'd, we'd look and pay attention. So anyway, back to the American Journeys uh, watercolors. You can see here, uh, the close-up here, th- this is the Joe sample set, and there's four colors here, but I think you could mix these colors together real easy to get some really uh, fantastic different kinds of colors. So there's a nice blue and a, and a red here, so and a yellow, and there's a, a green at the end. But uh, so yeah, I mean, I so far I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed with these uh, American Journey watercolors. They seem really, really good. So I'm, you know, tempted to say these are definitely gonna be in my top ten now. In terms of just uh, straight watercolors, I, I have to try some more some more of the colors and also test out the light fa- light fastness of these. But uh, so far, so good. And you know, I'm impressed by the vibrancy here in, in, in terms of the color and just the dissolvability or the uh, that aspect of these paints. So, you know, another little cool thing is these little cartons, they can fit in anything. They're super, super lightweight. I mean, they're not sturdy, right? So it's not like having a tin, which if you guys watch my videos, you know, I kind of prefer the tin cases to the plastic ones just because they hold up longer. But talk about lightweight. I think each one of these cartons, I don't know, it was less than two ounces. I mean, it's really super light. So you could basically pack these in anywhere. So here I'm just going to mix a a little bit of the color here and see what comes up. But uh, yeah, so just think of all the fun you can have with these little sets. And like I said, don't worry about these getting wet and then, you know, drying out and not being able to reactivate them. They reactivate really, really nice. And I just look at how good that color mixes. It's really... uh, I think superb. Yeah, I should mention you can also get these in little sets. So they come in a variety of different types of sets, either with those um, 15 milliliter tubes or the 37 milliliter tubes. But so you can buy, um, you know, 
sets of four or I don't know six different paints in a different set but you can also just pick these up in the individual tube if you want I like that there's the larger size choice I mean that's a pretty big uh, tube of watercolor paint when you think about a 37 milliliter tube you're probably not going to go through that much paint unless you're uh, doing some pretty pretty large paintings but yeah I was just looking up some artists out there that use American Journey uh, watercolors and there's quite a number of them out there especially like sketchers and people like that who who use uh, these paints for um, uh, even finished work so uh, so they're not student grade for sure I mean although I'm sure there's some people out there that maybe would thumb their nose at them because they're not a uh, you know a well-known brand or whatever but I, I like looking turning over different stones and looking for interesting uh, new watercolors and paint supplies from manufacturers that maybe aren't as well known well anyway I think it's time to do a little comparison and see how these stack up next to some other sort of uh, popular watercolor paints so let's do that now all right so here's the dried swatch sheet and I always try to make sure they're dry uh, now here's a comparison against like the Cotman these are the Windsor and Newton Cotman, which is kind of a well it's definitely a student grade paint so you're gonna see it's a lot the colors are a lot more muted there they're not as vibrant there's the Lucas Aquarelle 1862 watercolor paints and they're definitely on par with those I'd say these American journeys are slightly better um, there's Sennelier's and you cannot go wrong with these very fine French watercolor paints I'd still say the Sennelier's are better just because they have some unique properties. Um, there's a luminosity to the uh, Sennelier's that is unsurpassed in watercolor paints, in my opinion. Um, your opinion may differ or others may uh, say something else. But And there's the everyday watercolors that I use uh, to do most of my work. They're the Schmincke, the German-made watercolors. And um, you can see here how they stack up. And it even looks as though the American Journeys are slightly more vibrant than maybe the Schmincke's, but I just love the Schmincke's for the German uh, engineering of these paints. They're so consistent, um, and they, uh, they're just so durable, and they're just easy to use. Here is the Mission uh, paints, watercolor paints that I reviewed not long ago. By the way, any of these swatches you see today, you can check my channel and you'll see a review. Uh, for them as well. Here's the Kurataki Gamsai Tombi watercolors which I reviewed not long ago and they're sort of vibrant like those colors. I like that. Um, the American Journeys are have that vibrancy to them. Um, but I'd say the American Journeys are a little bit more transparent uh, than the, the Kurataki's. So uh, let's see I think what is the next comparison here we'll look at so these are Daniel Smith's and these are some of the specialty Daniel Smith paints so a couple of quinacridones and I think there's some sparkly colors in there so uh, yeah it's a quick look at those and here's the Daler and Rowney Aquafine which I've been telling people are surprisingly uh, good paints and quite a value so yeah that's that's a comparison so now I think it's time to give these some ratings so the color was great the vibrancy just awesome nice pigments with these paints you can tell they're they pop the dissolvability really stands out for me on these they just they're really nice there there's no granularity there's nice transparency there um, and so the quality looks to be very good now that'll I mean their light fastness will have a lot to do with that but uh, again I'll test that now these were the sample set uh, sample set kits you get from three to six bucks but you can get the tubes as well so here's my final rating uh, for these very nice American journey paints made in the USA and now it's time for some shout outs so I sketch with a friend of mine named Arshana and she makes these beautiful little DIY paint kits 
So this is a tin, but the thing that she does with these is she takes her drawings, her beautiful drawings and paintings and sketches, and she laminates them onto the top of the kit. So you have a little, it's very unique and personalized by her, but inside there's a little uh, palette there you can mix your paint on and there's a six half pans. She also makes a larger size of this kit. So if you're interested, there will be a, uh, uh, a link in the description and I'll refer to her Facebook but her face she's got a Facebook page uh, as well but the one thing I want to say is um, even if you if you if you have your own kit or you're not looking for one I encourage you to go check out Arshana's art she's just a fantastic artist and does some wonderful wonderful watercolor work especially around patterns um, I did a sketchbook tour to tour with her and looked at her sketchbook and I'll be publishing that soon but it's just fantastic so here's a link to Arshana's Facebook page so go over there check her out uh, don't forget to like the page she's awesome so the other day I get this email from uh, a subscriber named Chris Salvatore and she sent me this little note saying hey I've really gotten a lot out of the uh, videos and it's helped me a lot so I'd like to send you a little gift because I noticed you use a les lead holder um, and that's true I use a, a small a TK9400 lead holder and this is a quite a, a large lead holder but the really special thing about this gift is her husband is a wood turner and he made this uh, lead holder uh, himself and it is just wonderful I'm not sh exactly sure of the woods here if it's like a mahogany and a maple but all I know is it's beautiful it's unique and it is excellent and so Chris you made my day when I got this and tell your husband um, I can see the workmanship in this and the craftsmanship and uh, I can tell there's only one like it in the world and that I really really appreciate it what a great gift to receive and just uh, wonderful it made my day and um, I've been showing it off to all my artist buddies and they're jealous so uh, <laughs> which is um, it's just an awesome gift to get so thank you Chris for sending that my way I really appreciate it well thanks for stopping by as we took a look at these American Journey watercolors today um, I hope you enjoyed that and please subscribe to the channel don't forget to comment I love to hear from you and share the video if it was helpful well, this has been Marty for OwingsArt.com. So long, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.